And on the 364th day, when God was bored and simply trying to use up all his spare leftover parts, he said, I need someone to get up at 3.30 in the morning with a big mouth and a small amount of common sense. So God made a DJ. He said, I need someone who always knows the time and the temperature, the latest internet rumor, and what time the band takes the stage. So God made a DJ. I need someone willing to give caller number eight a pair of tickets to the Herpes Simplex 12 screen, to spend their Saturdays handing out pizza to used car salesmen, and to ask every single caller what station's doing it for you. So God made a DJ. I need someone whose voice and face don't match, like the roar of a lion coming out of the butt of a chihuahua. So God made a DJ. I need someone who can say with a straight face that Nickelback is their favorite band, to ask you for the phrase that pays, and then inform you that you're listening to the hot rockin', flame throwing, booty kicking, steamrolling, corn shuckin' tower of hit music power that's shaking the lakes and rocking the docks. So God made a DJ. He's a maestro of sexual innuendo, a virtuoso of the fart sound effect, and he or she is always doing it with you, to you, and for you right up until the big hour of 10 o'clock or beyond. Yes, God made a DJ so that one day when your child comes to you and says, when I grow up, I want to be a doctor, a lawyer, a policeman, a carny, a clown, or a mime, you will have someone else to point to and say, just so you don't end up like that. And that's why God made a DJ.